Hey guys, I actually got now, this is my road trip right here. This is the remaining left. <laughs> I'm with the cop here, he's gonna take care of me. He's got my name down and everything already. I kind of skid here in this road right here. I mean, I kid you not, lucky for the, the helmet and everything like this, I would not last, you guys. This helmet here probably saved my face, my life. It was worth every penny of it, even though it was a $1,200 helmet. Uh, I'm glad to be able to come out in one piece. Look at that. Whoa. You know what's funny? I don't think there's nothing wrong with my Gibby. It almost came out without a scratch almost. Oh, there it goes. It's a little torn here. Wow, these are some battle scores here. Golly. Oh, well, it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and see what I can do. Savage just parts here. Uh, maybe start a new project again. Rebuilt. But it would have been the Interceptor 150. I'm sure some of these parts here I can reuse for my next project. So it's fun while it lasted. Um, you can see some of the scrape wounds I have. I'm not sure if I have any cuts in my arm yet, but I don't feel like there's any blood yet. But yeah, these guys, look at this guy here. This would have been, if I was bare, that would rip my skin off like nothing. Oh yeah, that's, Thank you, that's sir. a bad one right there. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Whoa. Case, okay. Oh, okay. okay, great, right thank you, officer. All right, so now, rest assured here, peace. I'm picking up my pieces like Iron Man would pick up his pieces and get going. So this is it. I picked myself up. I just brought myself up after all this. Look at that. Oh, man. What a way to end this saga, huh? <laughs> Cops behind me and everything. Uh, I'm not sure if I can still drive him. We'll find out. We'll find out. He, he seems a little bented. Yeah, he seems a little bit more inclined. You guys see that? He's like he's coming forward to me more. So I don't know. We'll find out and see if I can put the puzzles together and put the hatch back on here and see if I can drive them. So I'm looking through all my pieces here. Make sure I collect them. There's so many pieces here. They kind of fell in ricochet everywhere. Plastics. Not sure these are my plastic or just probably are my plastics. I'm kicking them around. But I kind of skid all the way from here. Oh, there's the other piece here. Is this my wire? Yeah, look. Got this part. My alarm wire, my thing wire here, my housing for my lights, it's right there. <laughs> oh my God. I'm probably gonna get sore right now. Right now I'm feeling the hydrenaline. So it's probably not gonna get me sore a little bit. But I'm scavenging around to make sure I got all the pieces. So far I got my light, my wire harness. I don't think this is mine. I got a telephone cord. There's a bunch of my smaller pieces there. I'm not gonna get those. They won't do me any good anyway. All right, I gotta deliver the burrito to my dad still. Hopefully in one piece. Oh, what a journey. What a journey. I would've been home right now. Just except for that one small little era turn you guys saw me i hope the gopro didn't lose his contacts Here's a, a case number. all right thank you all right, sir man, i do recommend though if, if i'm gonna ro i just yeah if you walk start it. feeling bad or anything just uh just it yeah, won't yeah. take that long just to go get checked out okay. oh absolutely Sounds absolutely good? thank you so much officer right. yeah, gonzalez, looks, right? gonzalez yeah it looks like most of it's the seat took yeah the, uh, yeah the yeah thank goodness look at that yeah look at that on the side oh there too oh my god and you know what? It's funny. I was gonna not wear this today. And they're good. Uh, oh, that guy got. I'll put that on a frame right there. <laughs> oh, you know what? That's a good idea. Right? Yeah. Look at that. Look at the helmet, guys. So, uh, what? Uh, what's the YouTube channel I'll find myself in? <laughs> <laughs> NCY store. <laughs> NCY store. <laughs> yeah. I hope you don't actually go. Like <laughs> it's all good. Awesome. There we go. Yeah, no right. worry. What? You need anything else? No. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I will. Right? I, I would have some donuts for you, but yeah. I already uh, delivered them. <laughs> yeah, I was going to lunch, man. Are you? <laughs> All right, Officer Gonzalez. Thank All right, you. Take care, okay? All right, you too. Bye. All right. So packed up, ready to roll back. Mm -hmm. Not sure what I could do with these scraps here. This used to be my front where I was so careful to put them on. You remember that? Oh, man. I admire those who can ride their scooter around. 
So, I wonder if I can just get back on and just ride as we go. My wheels are okay, right? They're not vented. I could probably put this here in the back and let's see if I can start my scooter. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm oh, you know, feeling a little tipsy. Just a little bit shocked. Look at that. Look at my GoPro. Took a little nose dive with me. But amazingly enough, this helmet, damn, it worked. It worked out. Oh my God. Look at that. This windshield is definitely tarnished. So let me kind of put this here. Oh, I got my dad's burrito. I gotta give it to him shortly. The first it was the incident of, <laughs> let's see the burrito's still good. <laughs> the burrito is like a, <laughs> the burrito is like a football. Oh shit. Yeah, you don't want to keep your equipment like this. But I am long gone. All right, so let's put that burrito in here. Amazing crash. And that's what happens when you get to a chance when you brag about your your speed, right? You burned out, you burned out. Okay, so let's go and put things away. I'm gonna try to see if I can just ride with him, sort of semi-open. Put all his parts in here. If I didn't have these proper gear, I'll be honest with you, I probably wouldn't get a second chance. I literally wouldn't. I wouldn't have my arms, even though scrape as may be. Look at this guy. This would have been my skin, you guys. I definitely don't want to recommend you guys thinking that, um, you know, gears are important. They are. I knew I was going to get some. And you know what's funny? I wasn't going even more than 25 miles an hour. But to be honest with you, I think I lost control. I think my throttle went a little bit too fast. Ugh. But I wasn't probably going more than 30 miles an hour in this corner. And I think I might react it too, too slowly for, for the turn. And it finally took a nose dive on me. So we'll put things away as they are. Oop. Okay, now the cops got my YouTube channel too. So <laughs> I can't say anything inappropriate. So here we go. You know what this guy's good for? He's good for tie down. Let's see if I can tie him down with some stuff. Actually, my finger is feeling the sore now. Where was it when I earlier, right? Think it's gonna hold? Should be fine. Hunky dory. Gotta look at also my key bent it. <laughs> well these keys are usually pretty light anyway. You can re rebend them. Just waiting for the cops to go and see if I can actually start the scooter. Alright, the engine's still good though. The engine kept his frame. So let's see how the belly looks. Surprise. The CVT didn't take too much of a hit. The starter motor's still good. Golly, everything's still good. The oil cooler's still there. Oh, look at that. You can see a little bit of my light housing underneath. You guys see that? What a catastrophe. My oil cooler's still okay. Oh man, this is the fun part. The frame just looks a little bit forward more. Look at my bar and mirrors though. Look at that. Scraped up. Broke. This one's still actually in freaking fairly good condition. And you know what's funny? This one didn't need, oh, now it broke. <laughs> now it turned. It didn't turn earlier. This one here. <laughs> this one's still solid with the red Loctite, you guys. Not bad, huh? Speaking of which, let's see if my horn still works. I know this guy here, a little plastic piece. All right, let's just take him off because I can't see what I'm doing. All right. 
crash and burn. Oh shit. This key was working here, right? I like. I can't turn it. Oh, can I? Oh, I can't turn it. Maybe it got locked. Yeah, it's not yet. I shouldn't pull the key out. I could have had a chance to actually start the car. I mean, start the scooter still. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, let's see the horn work. <laughs> this is my horn sound, you guys. That's not a good horn sound, right? All right, let's take everything apart that we need to take apart. We don't want it. It's a... It was fun! It was fun while it lasted. Oh, there's a strap here. I can use this strap too for the... Come from over top. I think there's another one back here on the side. It's a good thing about the Gibby is... They give you these side straps so you can interlock them like right there. I'm more devastated that my scooter took a toll on me than um, I'm devastated that I'm, hurt. I'm sort of hurt anyway. So there it goes. There's a lock right here, you guys. Got to kind of get in there. All right, you guys, even though the condition here is considered total, I put things away where I could have. I'm gonna see if I can actually start the scooter and go home with what I have here. See all the <laughs> repercussion? Man, this thing saved my life. Okay, hold the brake lever. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can do this. Hold the brake lever, hit the start button. throttle all right let's see what we can do maybe the float bowl took a dive on this if i can get underneath there and maybe pull the choke maybe reset everything gotta be careful there's oncoming traffic and this is a very thin road i mean i could do that until the float bowl gets back up oh the kill switch is on Sorry. Holy shit, it still runs! Holy shit! Not the best shape, right? <laughs> Alright, still runs. We have some hope, you guys. We have some hope. I told the cop I didn't need medical assistance. What I do need is actually get between this stuff again. Okay, I'm gonna go forward, okay? I'm gonna drive slowly, guys. You guys are gonna see this. Alright, you guys, can you believe it? I drove back home. Wrecking all, carrying all my pieces in my back trunk. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, I'm gonna open the gate and start the start the scooter to come back in. What a day! What a day! What a last day that made. Oh, Ooh, I can see this is every parent's nightmare. All right, so let me go ahead and hopefully I don't want to sneak in. My dad doesn't find out. I'm gonna get worried. All right, keys in on position. Look at that, bird like a kitten still. <laughs> bird like a kitten, but just does like... Where from the end of the day, get him on the side for a second. All right, there he is, guys. We brought him back from what just happened there.
Take some pictures here. <laughs> oh man. It was so much fun while it lasted. I wanted to get back on the scooter as soon as possible because I didn't want that that fear to get to me. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the helmet off here. A little battle wound here. Alright. The red lever somewhere. Alright. Ugh. The Velcro is still attached to me. Alright. Let's get this guy. Hit the dust on this one, huh? Whoa. Let's see if you can change the dust. That was it. That was the last saga of the Interceptor 150 with the Gibby case. Badass wheels, but you gotta be careful. Gotta be really, really careful. What a doozy. Let's see if I can get the other side of it. Surprisingly, everything still works. All right, let's bring my dad and my nephew their donuts. I promised them that. So this is my little Gibby lock here. Got to twist them back to get them unlocked. It's got these, you have to angle it just right for it to come out back. All right, there's our donut holes. There's my dad's shrimp burrito, which I didn't, I'm promised to deliver, so let's ask. Maybe I won't even know what happened. Hi, Dad. Hello. Here's your donuts, Nathan. How you say? Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, Mom. Ma. Hi, Pa. Oh. Yeah. Burrito pie. Mm. <laughs> Made just in time. Hi, Malinga. Hi, Paul. Hi. Hi. All right. That's it. No one knows. Mommy! <laughs> All right, you guys. That's it. <laughs> I'm going to take a break. I'm going to take my helmet inside. And I'm just going to get washed up. I guess me and uh, Purjeet, once you see this, he probably know why I didn't actually decide to go on the ride anymore. <laughs> because I could, actually. But uh, my scooter isn't going to be very equipped for it, though. I mean, I don't have the front lights. The cops will stop me for that for sure. Even though I did got stopped earlier. All right, Michael from NCY store. Definitely don't do what I just did there. Make sure your throttle is not on cruise control. It's dangerous. Wait, just to wrap everything up, I totally forgot. Let's see if the alarm works. I know the speaker is off of it. The speaker's right here on this side. It's in the cabinet somewhere here. <laughs> he's, he, I think he's one of these guys here. The speaker, there he is. He's like way down there. But let's just see if the alarm still works. You can tell by the lights. Ready? Let's arm it. Holy shit. <laughs> ah, everything's fine. Alarm still works. It's just not in the greatest condition. The seat took a toll. Oh, yeah. Look at that guy. Oh, my poor super glue. We were trying so hard to keep him intact. But yeah, I guess this is probably ready for the next build. Who knows what we're going to do next. I really love the Interceptor. I don't know if I can find a replacement for him. I really don't. We'll see what we can do. Next project. All right, I got to clean up a little bit here. Let's just clearly see how damaged it is here. I didn't realize how bad the scooter was as well until I... Kind of got freshened up now. You can see here this guy, his whole front here is gone. So anything would probably replace just a, you know, this skin here. It's probably at least two or three hundred bucks. 
Uh, my gloves didn't take too much of a beating, only on one side, the pinky here. Or maybe that's just showing a little wear. So you can see there. I know there were some peel parts, but I don't think this was part of it. This was probably caused in an accident. You can see here, so the knuckles grind. Whatever would not been grind, it would have been grinding my face or my my hands. So that's just bizarre. Let's see underneath. Uh, one of the straps broke. That's not a big deal, you know. <laughs> so uh, the chisel here and the GoPro, which is fine. I'm going to see what kind of material I can get from the GoPro out of it. So it's been pretty bizarre. But yes, yes, you got five pants. I hung them up now. This guy here. <laughs> Can you, it's funny they're made from a material here that I guess will eat the jeans, but over here it's like a wick proof underneath. So that one stayed fine. Like from underneath it, there was no hole in this jacket prior for me. Just having that fall. I think that fall really did do a number. Let's really. See what else it could have done. I should. Uh, I didn't really have to wear this. Luckily, I did a good roll. I don't know. It was like I prepared to roll or something. You can either that or fall off the cliff. Uh, the Bear Creek route. I might have went a little bit too fast in there on the turn. Nothing else I could do. So we saw that guy right there. Now let's look at this guy here. Let's see where his hands at. Yeah, everything that would have been not cut would have been my skin normally. <laughs> So I'd rather, you know, cause a $300 jacket to go down than me. Let's go and take a look at the the beautiful bike outside still. What's left of it anyway. Let's check them out. I got freshened up now, clean. My shorts. Alright, so let's take a look at it. All the little scraps here are held in the back. Whatever I can, I'll take it apart. I'm probably not going to up for the par. I do want to get that little, what was it? That little reader there. So I can finish my, there you go. We got this stuff part here. Oh, let me get the charger back on. But what surprised me is, look, I didn't realize this thing was that bent. Look at that. It bended it like it was nothing. It bended like it was like a, a smashed bread. Holy smoke. You remember this is my front of my nozzle, right? Oh, let me get the charger back on. Look at that. Look at that. It made it look like it was nothing. Oh, it even brought a little sort of uh, some parts from the Bear Creek with me. <laughs> uh, the scooter, I thought maybe it's just a plastic part, maybe that's maybe causing it to. Um, seem like it's kind of going inward i mean i kind of like it inclined like this but uh i'm not sure if it's the plastic itself but i think it is actually more inclined than anything i had to ride it getting my feet off to the side because i couldn't do it everything else here seems to be pretty busted the cvt looks pretty damn good actually the engine's still kept intact yep i think what fell here i had no idea what that part is let's see uh, never thought I could open for my sides here. Well, at least our oil cooler is protected, huh? Or else uh, we would be uh, pretty much forced to walk home. <laughs> so our oil cooler didn't spill. Even though it looked like a bliss of spill, it isn't. It's just the way that the clear coat was prior. It's not really anything spilled. Look at this guy here. He must... Oh, he was in the front. You remember that real relay for our headlights right here? That little round guy that was like here next to the horn sort of or a horn relay yeah our horn here is toasted yeah he wouldn't honk anymore for us handlebars took a beating on this side how about on this side oh on this side looks fairly new this guy's like not touch there you go still spinning our brake cylinder cap is still good this thing's kind of cave on it. Yep. More than likely, he's probably going to be scrapped for parts. So, a lot of good parts on him still, though. Everything is fairly in good condition. The only thing that went away was 
all the cheap Chinese parts. <laughs> so I'm not too, I guess I'm not too sad about that. Uh, I am sad about my Gibby. That's one thing I am sad about, even though he didn't break or anything, but the scrape marks are done, you know what I mean? It's just, it's, it's hard plastic. Yeah. His lights and everything still works. I think he still closes, right? Maybe a little jitter in him a little bit. But that, and you know what's funny though? The struts and everything kept him in place. I'm very impressed, very impressed. Oh wait, is he coming in loose? Or sort of? Wow. I was wondering what's gonna happen when he falls. How would he look like? And now I know. Look at that. Look like he's jittering. I don't think he ever, I, I don't know, he's jittering, this is normal. This is the shocks doing it. Or is he? I think he's independent still. So I'll probably have to look in tightening that guy down. I don't have my keys or else I'll open this guy up back. Here goes our signal lights. Those guys are down. Yeah, the scooter pretty much laid on his side and I just kind of rolled. So these guys stay pretty good. Headlights. This thing on there. I'll just have to let my insurance know I won't be uh, needing insurance no more. Just paid my registration too, by the way. What a bummer, huh? What to do, what to do. I guess I could put them back together. He just needs some new plastic panels and shells. And I should be good to go. We'll see. Holy smoke. I think on this uh, right hand side, he's good. There's no doubt about it. Oops, sorry. Charger here. What's in and out? I tucked him in here this way so I can actually start driving home so he doesn't fall away. <laughs> oh man, look at that. Yeah. Broke off. Broke off. Unbelievable. I'm sure basically I could probably glue them together and just drive them around. He's not going to be in a top-notch shape. Actually, look at the exhaust. It's still kept in good contact. I mean, I'm sure there's some parts I could still make it work with this guy. And you know what's one good thing about him? Did he scrape here? Holy shoot. Look at my Banjing. It all scraped up. It turned gray on me. It wasn't a nice black before. <laughs> it looks like a gray color now. It looks like faded old. Holy smoke. NCY still looks pretty damn good. Dry face fan. I guess he blocked him from being scraped, huh? So that's still pretty good. It's still everything drivable about it. Sorry. It's the only thing about it is just scraped. Scraped and the front end is bent it. So I could look into repairing him. And I am a mechanic. So I built him. Cop asked me, um, yeah, I'm sure everything else is going to be repairable. You know, what you got is your life back, which I told him, yeah, you're right. You know, I can rebuild this. So it might be hard to source the products or to find the parts for some of the plastics. But damn, I'm sure we can do that. Straighten him up. Put him back together somehow. You can see how this whole stem here just kind of pushed forward. I think this is still straight though. It's just pushed forward more. It's kind of neat that it actually is pushed forward more. So, so everything else just fell out of place. We have fun while it lasted. I think this is the headlight relay as well. So everything worked. Oh wow. Oh yeah, this came off. <laughs> Completely came off. Uh, I had to pick it up from the side of the road. Odometer reading. Got dirty a little bit. Got dirty. Yeah. I think this is a life lesson here, you guys. Letting me know what's up. Be more cautious. Don't take for granted the throttle. That thing is not your friend. Look at that. 
Yep. Yeah. There you go. Got him back. For how long? I don't. Oh, what is that? Oh, my alarm is triggering. <laughs> I, I still had to arm it. You hear that tick tick noise? All right. I think that's about it, as far as I can tell. Lots of great wounds. Look at that. Oh. 100 bucks, this right here. Gone. 100 bucks. Ch -ch -ch. This guy's still good. He bent it the other way. Kind of awkward, though. But man, he still stayed pretty damn strong. These guys lock down, don't they? I think something with the controllers here might be. Throttle still good. Oh, the lights are coming. Let me go ahead and turn off the alarm, or else I'm gonna hit my lights. My speaker's not connected, that's why it's not making the sound. Oh, let me get the keys. Gotta get the relays. Oh, I had the key in my pocket the whole time. I always gotta check my pocket, Michael. You have everything in your pocket. What you need. I'll just do it out here. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Cool. So, he's good. Oh, my Bluetooth is still on. Let's turn it off, shall we? You hold down the positive and negative sign together, or is it the positive? And... Tell it, there you go, solid red. Should cut, turn off. There we go. Oh, turning back on, I guess. That's not what I want. One, two, three, four, five. We also have a red. There we go. Should go off. Yep, no more blinking. Oh. Should be no more blinking. There we go. Powering off. Cool. Yep. Like Iron Man holding his mask. All tore up in battle. That's just the way it is. Golly, this thing protected me. It's still a great helmet, though. Only thing it has, it has a little nick right here. That's the only thing that's not repairable. It's that little nick right there. Other than that, it's just the glass that took the, almost all the hit. I think a little bit here. Oh, that's actually cleaned out right there. Buffered out. Here or there. A little few more scrapes here. But it's still a pretty damn good helmet, though. Wow. Saved my life. It's totally spared me. Ooh. Okay. Share this to my parents here they're out there eating comfortably enjoying their self so uh, I didn't realize I had more rips here too of all look at this you remember this jean here I showed you guys earlier right this morning holy smoke again all this right here would have been my skin if it hadn't been for the jeans okay let's go let's go ahead and cross-examine what's going on with me <laughs> see what kind of bruise I have right so here we go let me set the camera somewhere here that way you guys can see I'm gonna do a little cross-examination here what happens <laughs> oh, I remember I was rolling rolling off the scooter I think the roll helped me a little bit had I not rolled I'm not sure what else would have been you know taken away from me so the roll kind of deflected a little bit of the the force of the scooter being ripped from underneath me I guess didn't have my tripod here sorry Try and stand up my. I don't have my my grip cover anymore either, so this is really hard. Let's see here. I can hang it like this, hanging on my helmet side. All right, so let's take a look what happened during the accident. Oh man, uh, the police capture report showing what happened. guys see that oh man bruise is better than open open cut right let's see what this side is got to take care of all this jacket here okay no oh, nothing nothing just a couple bruises so oh, I can live with that now I don't feel anything bad here and I don't want to strip for you guys or anything like that but maybe you guys can see if there's anything in my leg area so let me let me take this guy off 
button. My knee pads, I think, protected the friction of my knees. Oh. All right, so let's check this out. Oh. So far, I can live with this. All right, nothing. A little pink wound there. It's not a bad thing. I don't think that, I think that was it. This is just dirt or socks, socks, uh, fabric. Ugh. So we're good in there. Golly. You know, it's funny. I had a conversation with a guy earlier. He said, once you get familiar with something, that's when you get an accident. And I think I got too familiar with making my turns. That I didn't stay focused and handling my throttle. I think I did lose focus, you guys. I was looking at the camera, thinking of what I was going to do. And I totally forgot I was holding the throttle too long. So, I wasn't probably making, I probably wasn't making a turn more than 30 miles an hour or anything like that. So, it finally just dropped. Nothing to blame but my poor self. Alright, so these are it. These are the finishing wounds. So, it could have been more damage like that. So, I don't think nothing to my face. Oh, my head. Oh, one piece. Thanks to this helmet. Saved my life, man. You saved my life. Oh, look at the scratches, though. This would have been my face with stitches, right? So, I'm back home now. Just gonna get dehydrated. And I can still have to make it for my sister's birthday party. Alright, if you guys see this, you might not see me in a little bit for a while. Michael from NCY Store signing out.